Hi everybody, my name is Teresa Grant and I'm Child and Family Liaison Coordinator at Purple House. Today I would like to read a story around bereavement and at Purple House we use this book which is called The Resolving Bereavement Grief with Your Child. It's by Fiona MacAslam and Peter Nicholson, also illustrated by Kelly Sheridan. This is Lisa. Lisa likes to play in her room, but sometimes she feels sad. In the corner of the book here, you'll see there's a little caterpillar, and he's actually what we call the supporting caterpillar. So you'll see him pop up a couple of times throughout this story. Lisa felt too sad to play with her friends or watch TV. Sometimes she felt happy and wanted to play. Then she would remember that her mum had died. Lisa's, Lisa's life had changed. So the little caterpillar again is popping up here saying she, she's hurt inside and didn't know what to do. Lisa felt lonely. She worried a lot. She thought she might have done something wrong. She longed for her mum to be with her. This is Joe. Joe loves playing basketball and drawing pictures. He has lots of friends and enjoyed being with them. But now he finds it hard to get on with them. Sometimes Joe got so angry. I did score, he would say, and he felt he would explode. Sometimes he hated his life. I'm going home. He felt so alone and angry. And here the little caterpillar says, poor Joe, he did not understand what was wrong. His dad had gone. He had died some time ago. His mum said he was not coming back. Joe was so angry. Lisa and Joe both went to the same school. Each day they were busy. Lisa liked writing stories. Joe taught science was cool. But some days were hard. Some days, Lisa just wanted to cry and cry. She felt so upset. There was nothing anyone could do. Joe wanted to scream and shout. He felt so angry that his dad had left him. Arr! He'd be screaming. So here's the little caterpillar popping up again. Hi guys, how are you? Hey, says Lisa. Hi Curly. Joe says. The caterpillar says, I know things have been really hard for both of you. All these feelings you are having are normal. When we lose someone we love, we miss them very much. It can really hurt. It's called grieving. Is that why I feel upset? Lisa said and why I miss my dad so much, Joe said. The caterpillar explains, we feel lots of different feelings when we lose someone and it's helpful to talk about them. So show me how you feel. So there'll be a big one here, angry, sad, worried, frightened. So Joe and Lisa, decided to paint on the wall about things that they feel. And things were coming up like, I feel sad inside. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I want to talk about my mom. I worry. Sometimes I forget what dad looked like. What's going to happen to me? I say I'm fine, but I'm not. Wow, Joe says. 
I didn't know I had these feelings in me. Neither did I, said Lisa. Now, what do we do? The caterpillar explains, well, now you keep talking and find ways to help yourself. The caterpillar explains, why don't you make memory books? What's a memory book? Joe asked. It's a special book to put memories in. I'd like to do that, Lisa explained. So then they went and found some pictures. So it's me and mum at the seaside, Lisa found. Joe wrote down, my hero, my dad is my hero. He is great. He likes football. Me and my mum went to the beach. She taught me how to swim in the sea. And then there's a picture of their house and a little bracelet, like a friendship bracelet that they made. As they made their books, they began to chat about their memories. My dad always sang in the shower, <laughs> Joe would say. My mum was funny. She danced and she loved reading me stories. We played ball every Saturday, Joe said. It's funny. Sometimes I forget what she looks like, Lisa explained. Me too, said Joe. Talking helps us begin to feel better. Over the next few months, Lisa and Joe talked and talked. They shared many happy and sad stories about how they felt. Dad, I don't want to make you sad, but I really miss Mom. I miss her too, said Lisa. Here, here's a picture of you and Mom from the day you were born. And they sat on the sofa and Dad put his arms on Lisa's shoulder. They still had down days, but they knew they would be all right. And they had friends and family who cares. Joe, should we do something to remind us of our mom and your dad? Hmm, what do you mean? And the caterpillar pops back up again. What about somewhere you can go and remember them? Jo helped Lisa plant a tree in her back garden. Mum liked apple trees. She would think of all the happy times they had with her mum as she watched it grow. Then Lisa helped Jo to make a corner of his room special with photos and pictures that reminded him of his dad. He liked to have somewhere quiet to go sometimes. Then again, the caterpillar pops up. How are you two? Joe replies, hi, Curly. And Lisa, we're okay. I still miss my mum, but I'm not worrying as much. Are you still feeling angry, Joe? Not the way I used to. I feel better. Sometimes you may feel down, but those times will get easier. You will be okay. The people we love will always be part of us. So thank you very much for listening today. And just to let you know, these are kind of the resources that we use at Purple House when we're supporting children through bereavement and grief. Thank you very much.